day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Hey everybody, you know, we we really, I, I was talking about the beginning of this Bible study, is the fact is that uh, when we, we come into this world, we, we have to choose the world system or God's kingdom. And one of, I guess the biggest thing we're learning, in fact, is that what is God's kingdom? Well, the kingdom of God is, to me, I wanted what we got out of this Bible study, is, and I told you in that part eight, is the fact is that we're servants of uh, one another. Jesus said to love one another. Love was to serve. We talk about the fact is that our parents are considered great when they serve their children. We need to serve them. How about discipline? Well, if that if that's a means that need to be done, that need to be done. But it's done not for for dominance. It's done out of love, right? If you can't discipline your children out of love, then you, you, you're messing up, right? But every time the scripture says spare the rod, spoil the child, you don't want to spoil a child in life. Because spoil a child means it doesn't care about other people. So therefore, sometimes it's a rod that's got to be used, got to be used because of love. Amen? But the whole point is we want to teach all of us. And, and people watching us, are we servants of one another? Are we taking care of one another? You know, when you think about even the supervisors, if you ever thought about it, when people say it was a good supervisor, is that the one who looks out for his people? It's not somebody who's cracking the whip on them. It's about trying to take care of people, address their needs, make sure that they get their appraisals, make sure they get their awards, make sure that uh, they get their pay and everything else, make sure they get guidance and instructions. Huh? That's that's what we're talking about as far as serving them. That's what, that's what the kingdom of God is about. Greatness is being a servant of all. And that's what we talk, we move forward in, forward in this, this Bible study. It's the fact is that you are servants if you want to be great. Servants of all. The more people you serve, the greater you are if you want to be great. That means not for people to serve you, but for you to serve others. You to care for others. You take your responsibility in any position you have. It should be based on geared towards serving one. You're successful when you care for people. And that's that's what we're getting out of the Bible study. This is part B of it, is that we were going into is, is the, the, the scriptures concerning uh, choosing God's way over man's ways. And I'm sitting there saying that God's way is the way. That's what he's always been trying to tell us. Focus on him. Focus on his way. Jesus said in John 14, 6, I think it is 14, yes. John 14, 6 said, Jesus, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by him. His way. Not our way. Not our flesh way. Not our cardinal way. But his way. His way, his will will be done. As long as we focus on his way. His will. That's what God is always trying to tell us to do. We look and listen and try to be guided by the, the Holy Spirit because then we learn how to operate. You know, another thing we also brought up the fact is that we went into 1 Samuel chapter 8. And this one is top of the fact is when the children of Israel decided that they wanted to have a king just like the other world. Just like the world had a king, they wanted a king. And I, I was I was sitting there thinking about that. I said, wow, you know, a lot of cases we can focus on trying to be like, remember the old, my fact is coming out, like trying to be like the Joneses. <coughs> and, and 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 to be like the Joneses, to keep up with the Joneses is we're gonna have the best house, best car, we're gonna have a boat, we're gonna have an RV. <laughs> We want, we want to have all the good stuff that we consider good. And then and that's called keeping up with Joneses. And we ask each other, what do you do? What's your job? What are you all about? Opposed to, what do you believe in? How are you saying? 
have you received Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? That's what we started to talk about in part B of this. So I hope you enjoy this video, and I'll catch you next time, amen? Let's see what's going to happen in part C, amen? All right, God bless. Bye-bye. But one of the things it said is that when, when, when Samuel, Samuel, if you remember, uh, was dedicated to be in, in God's uh, uh, the work of the temple, and he became the uh, priest or in this case, judge. That's how God had, he had judges. What did judges for? Just like when Moses was coming out, Moses had to have, um, he was trying to be the one person that did all the judging and, 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 and uh, his, his father-in-law said, said, man, you, you burn yourself out. If you're gonna sit there and, and, and be uh, the judge, you need to you need to go have subordinate judges. You have to have judges over 10, judges over 100, judges over 1,000. You know, just working from there. And that's similar to how our system is working out, right? So, Israel got in a situation where we, they, they, also they was passing on. That's another thing, too. When, when, when Samuel was selected by God, uh, we probably didn't understand that when we tried to bring it into a family type thing, we, we, don't, we don't realize that all the people that comes after uh, somebody that was selected as a leader is, is the right choice. In most cases, it's going to be somebody else that, that needs to be done and called and designated by God, who has the heart of God. And, and, and that's, that's where you run into the problem. So in this situation, you had a, hey, we're going to let Samuel's children uh, be the heir apparent to Samuel. We, we, you know, it's interesting. We probably want to see what God had to say about that. But when the absence of hearing and going to God for a replacement for a judge, they say they don't want judges anymore. So, that because of and based on what the uh, Samuel's children, you can see they're like, I'm not pleased with these judges. Right? So all the elders in verse 4 gathered themselves together and came to Samuel unto Ramah and said to him, Behold, thou old, and thy sons walk not in thy ways. Now make us a king to judge us like all the nations. Look at that now. World system again. In the world system, this is what you get, right? In the world system, you sit there and you try to say, whoa, man, I can't help it. One second. They said to, to make us a king to judge us like all the nations. So they wanted, opposed to having judges who they're supposed to go to and, 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 and let those people apply the will of God in their decision making and based on the fact is that you had corrupt judges you know they think that well it'll work better by having a king well that I've, and, and and that's the problem is that <laughs> i you you really just you you i don't think i don't think uh instead of god sitting there uh, eventually selecting a new judge which I know you would have, and judges, because I'm pretty sure that if they kept the system that Moses had, there were judges over 10, there were judges over uh, hundreds, and judges over 1,000. And then when it gets to the point where those judges cannot satisfy the answer, then you come to the highest judges in the land, who are supposed to be just like Ed, the judge of 10s, is applying the will of God in the decision making and that's the same thing about each of us individual applying our decisions based on the will of god so they said in verse six but the thing displeased samuel when they said give us a king to judge us and samuel prayed to the lord now that that's 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 how it's supposed to go is it 
what, what, what does the Lord has to say about that decision? And because I think if we operate from that point of view, then I think we have something uh, to work with. Amen. So verse seven, and the Lord said unto Samuel, hearken unto the voice of the people and all that they say unto thee. For they have not rejected thee, but they have rejected me, that I should not reign over them. Are you catching that? It's, it's God's kingdom. The kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven, is really about God being the king. And the world system is about man being ruler over men. <laughs> and that, that's what we have in the world system. That's how we have a different ministry. That's how we have a different businesses. That's how we try to have different families. We try to do the, we're trying to let, it's to let God be the, the, the head of us individually and God being the head of our families, God being the head over our ministry. And I'm gonna somebody's gonna say, well, no, 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 you the head. As long as I'm supporting the God, as long as I'm following his will. Not not don't be something you say you are if you're not supporting to God. Don't be even though even as I'm over the king, don't be a king, don't be a judge if you're not supporting to the will of God. That's when you become out of order. And that's where you get corruption. That's what you had in this situation. We had corruption because we sit there and try to say, it didn't matter whether you chose judges or kings. It only matters is whether those people are going to follow the will of God. And when we step out of order, that's when it displays people. And people sit there and say, is that, we need a new judge. We need new judges. No, we don't need a king. Because you are our king. God is the king. Christ is the head of all of us. He's not a head of different. He, he didn't, God didn't create no different colors or skin for, for, for subordination. That's stupidity, once again. But we already know that. We don't have to say it anymore. We, we already know that the, the responsibility for all of us is to love one another. So it says in verse 7, And the Lord said unto Samuel, Hearken unto the voice of this people, and all that they say unto thee. For they have not rejected thee, but they have rejected me, that I should not reign over them. Now, think about it. What do you mean when God said, that I should not reign over them. What do you mean? God wants a personal relationship with us individually. Judges are just people that sit there and you go to to, 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 to try to understand what's going on. And, and if I'm not hearing from God, maybe you can help me hear from God. Hmm? And then, like I said, that situation came up is that the judges, at least Samuel's sons, we're not lined up with God's will. So I guess I can, you can see where that could be a problem in itself. But anyway, it says here, verse eight, according to all the works which they have done since the day that I brought them up out of Egypt, which really means the house of bondage, even unto this day. And I'm kind of questioning this, even of the 2020, are we still sitting there coming out of the house of bondage and still trying to do it the world's way instead of God's way? Are we still trying to find, and even if talking about in our elections and stuff, well, you know, I, I, I like the fact of how our country started and our country is still trying to do, and we gotta watch out for where, we, where people will try to be more than what the system is designed to be. We have, we have the greatest, constitution the greatest democracy in this world but if we don't sit there and stay with the document and the principles then we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna fail if we don't sit there we allow racism and all those other things to come in we're gonna fail because we're sitting there putting our trust 
and, and, and man, instead of putting our trust in God, and we sit there trying to, and then, you know, we even ministry sometimes, we don't jack it all up and, 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 and get us all confused. Instead of sitting there saying, look to him. When you go home, look to him. When you're driving, look to him. He's there with you. I like the fact that the Bible says he'll never leave you nor forsake you. Trust in God, not in ourselves. And definitely not in somebody else. Because you don't know where that person is at. You don't know that person has his own personal relationship. And if they're not listening to God, they're going to give you the world's way. And that's not what God wants. Let me hold on. We... We, all of us, each individual has to, God wants all of us to come to him. It's not, it's not people, it's him. It's always been about him. That's all he wants to do because you guys remember that when, when you, when you go before the throne of God, or when you, when you expire and leave this world and, 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 and I understand there's people who, don't believe there's anything after this. That's that's your you'll find that out yourself. You know? You you yeah, I ain't gotta forget it. You you make your own decision and, and you choose that. But the question is here now that makes the difference. What's leading you? What's moving you? What's guiding you? Is it another man or woman? Is there another is it another system, the world system? Or is it God? your personal relationship with God. He says right here, And Lord said unto Hawken, I mean, that's verse 7, verse 8, According to all the work that they have done since the day I brought them out of Egypt, out of the house of bondage, even to this day, where were they forsaken me and serve other gods, small g, so they do also unto thee. Now, Therefore, hearken unto their voice. How be it ye protest solemnly unto them, and show them the matter of the king that shall reign over them. Samuel warning, the title here uh, is Samuel's warning against kings. In other words, you said you want to have kings, and I, and I hope we, in our nation, our country, we don't want to go into this uh, being supported the kings. Because that, that's, <laughs> we, I like the fact that we started, we start off and wants to stay with it, is we don't want kings and we don't want eternal uh, presidents or anything else. We want you to do your term, do your job, and if you do good, we'll give you a second term and move on. If you don't do good, we're going to let you go and work on something else. Amen? But the bottom line is that God is our king. God rules over us individually. Verse 10. And Samuel told all the words of the Lord unto the people. Can you hear me, Brother Josh? Yes, sir. Hey, bro. I, 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 I did want to comment about uh, when you were talking about the man's form of leadership versus God. Right. And you were saying that, you know, we got we got this one leader, you know, king or president, and then you got hierarchies under that. Right. And I was thinking, you know, uh, that's man's attempt to build a kingdom like God's. Yeah. But it can never exist because God's kingdom is set up for him. Yes. And him only. That's the only way it works. So exactly. the big difference is with God, you got him and then those who are put in authority, leadership positions, they are servants. They're not they're not looked at as somebody, some big eyes to the little youth. They're actually servants. God calls them servants. Right. And their position is not higher than the people. Right. But it's not lower than the people. 
it's equal. Equal. And before the redemptive work, uh -huh. they were just the mediator between God and man. Right. They spoke what God wanted on earth. Exactly. And as long as it was set up that way, the provisions, the protection, the authority, everything came from God. Come on, brother. The wisdom was the wisdom of God. But in the beginning, we were given free will. Yes. And we freely will <laughs> to have a king. <laughs> right. <laughs> and it's been messed up ever since. Yeah. But I mean it's 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 amazing that no kingdom design the way God's kingdom is set up, you know, a king and then servants. The servants. And then his court, which is basically the disciples, you know, or the apostles or whatever. All they do is serve. Exactly. And you know, I, I do want to add to that that I don't even think that uh, he even called them in the sense of the structure we talk about as, 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 as having authority over the other people. Yeah. You know? Yeah. He's just mediator. Just mediator. Back, you know, if you look at the book of Revelation, uh, when when John was taken up to the third heaven and he tried to bow down to an angel. Yeah. And, and he said, no, don't, don't do that. Yeah. No. You, you only bow down to, to God. Yeah. To you God. So I'm saying that even though we may have servants to do different roles of infrastructure, mm -hmm. they're not there for subordination. They're just there to play a role. Yes. What God wants them to do. Yeah. And they always got their marching orders yeah. from God. Exactly. It was just like uh, Elder always says, you have, you know, one leader, and then you have those who are below him that leader gives an order and the rest of those who lead below them repeat that same order and then the mass Come on. move in accordance. In accordance, right. And that's how, how it was. But now the veil has been removed and we all have direct access yeah. to our father. But it it requires renewing of the mind to be able to communicate. Come on now. So until then, <laughs> we have a mediator yes. to get you to that point. And that mediator, just like before, should always go to God and yes. get the marching orders to yes. repeat. Yes. And, and it shouldn't be anything, it should be nothing of that person. Exactly. And that, you know that's why I'm saying that. I, you know I don't know if y'all heard me now. Sitting there says we we and, and we try to create in the world system all these different subordinations of categories. Yeah. I mean we, we try to do it by race. And so it's like well well and and then we fight for that. I mean that the racism part comes in is I have a position above you based on the world system. Not on God's system, but based yeah. on the world system, and I'm gonna fight as hell to keep my status. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a position of power. You know, it is what it is is what the devil offered. That's what I'm saying. There All you. it is is what the devil the devil offered Jesus. You bow down Come on. and serve me, and I'll give you a position. <laughs> there, there, there's a scripture. And that's all that is. That's it. I think a scripture that, that kind of addresses that because that's the thing I've been where is it's Matthew 20 and 25. Can you, can you pull that up? Yes, sir. One second. Matthew 20 and 25. Matthew 20? Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm going to bring it up in a second. Okay. 25. And I'm going to share it. Can you see it? 
Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Seth. It says, but Jesus called, I mean, called them unto him and said, you know that the princes of the Gentile exercise dominion over them. And they that are great exercise authority upon them. Mm. But it shall not be so among you. But whosoever will be great among you, let him be your minister or servant. Servant. And whosoever be chief among you, let him be your servant. Servant. Come on, brother. Even as the Lord, as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, mm. but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. Yes. So when, we, <laughs> when we look at the kingdom of God and we look at the world system, that explains the, the two systems right alongside each other. Yes, yes. If you does. look at the distribution of power, and we're thinking, I mean, literally the, the power, influence, the, the ability to change a person's behavior or their mindset, power at the in, in, in the kingdom of God rests at the bottom. Mm. It supports everything else above it. So if you want the the, the, the parallel to it as far as a, a structure is concerned or edifice is concerned, it, it would be the pyramids. The, the bulk of the pyramids is at the very bottom of the pyramids. And yeah. then you have them narrowing out and narrowing in to support the smallest, the smallest stone in the pyramid is going to be the one at the top of it. Everything yeah. else is supporting that one structure. Come on, man. Come the on. world system is inverted. The power is at the top and it controls everything that's underneath it. Wow. That's why the kings of this world cannot sustain because as soon as another power rises up to subdue that's greater than the power that's in place, it is going to subdue that power. And that kingdom is coming to an end. And we've seen that happen since the dawn of time. Every time a kingdom rose, it would weaken, and then somebody would take over. Another king would rise, it would be weakened, and another one would take over. The more powerful ones in the, in the world system rule. But in the kingdom of God, the more powerful ones actually edify, uplift, and strengthen the ones that are weaker. A mother's love toward her child. Come on now. Mother has the ability to take, or fathers, I need to go with the fathers now. We have the ability to take our children and fling them across the room, not knock their brains out. I mean, dash their brains out, but what do we do? We clean their butt. They they, they, they boo-boo, we clean them up. They pee on themselves, we clean them up. They spit up on us, we clean them up. They pee yeah. on us, we still clean right. them up. Whatever it is that they need to be sustained and to grow and to flourish is what we impart to them. And that's how to keep with that. Up. Happy Father's Day to, to you. Happy Father's Day to all of you too. Amen. And, we, and that's the foundation of our household. Lord, help me. Help me, Jesus. I want to get quick, Pastor, because you know I start talking. I know that's why you come here. <laughs> I get carried away. I know. <laughs> Try to get those. But, but if you would notice, the one thing in our family, the, as black men have risen, that we're beginning to rise, and I pray to God we see a revival because we need it. Just to show that we understand the principles, we were not able to provide for our households like we wanted to, or even they needed it to happen because we were debilitated within the society. We, we were stripped of our judgment. We were stripped of our influence. We were stripped of our, our ability to provide, we thought. But it resulted from our detachment from our father. And this is where we're coming into play right now. When he fixed the system such that we could have fellowship with him and provide for our household, we lost fellowship with him. Yeah. We got caught up on the materialism and thinking that we were actually being exalted and empowered by the materialism that we had when we actually were being empowered to move in those positions by the relationship they had with the Father. Mm. When we accepted him, he positioned us. Yeah. And he raises up one people and pulls down another. If God be for you, who can be against you? So it's like we fought the wrong fight. What we should be even in this day, and I think about all the things that y'all must forgive me on this one because that guy called on his mom. He called on the guy to get off him, but he never heard him say nothing about calling on Jesus. And that is where we have come to. We come to a place where we think either Jesus doesn't help us, he not, or you're not really helping us, or we don't want to obey him to the point where we feel comfortable asking him for anything. We, well, it's an authority that is only learned through knowing who you are through Christ Jesus. 
And when you recognize that, then that's what you walk in. And, and you only believe what he says about you, Amen. what he says you can do, and what you, what you, really he doesn't say what you don't do. Because when you have the mind of Christ, you only do what the Father wants. Nice. Anyway, nice. so uh, the sad thing about it is nobody around him said anything either. Amen. Exactly. Right. And that's what we so, 